Today, I want to get into Jungkook expressing his love recently at Coachella and then people saying that Jungkook got harassed at Coachella and that there was even a partner there. And then I want to get into J-Hope saying that he feels happier recently. So hey dumb, this is Dave Desai. Hey, do not make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go grab his dumplings, hey spilling mug merch and let's go. Jayhope recently hopped on a live stream and talked about his military enlistment. If the rumors are correct and he is enlisting on the 18th, he really hopped on a live stream at a great time to give us an update and express how he is feeling. He talked about the military enlistment in depth and Jayhope looked really good. Not just as good as he normally looks, but he looks healthy, glowy, and just radiant. This is a good note to leave off to let us armies know that he is okay and happy with everything that is about to unfold. He confirmed that he was indeed leaving and asked armies to not forget him. I think this is interesting because I don't think we as an audience ever forget an artist. That doesn't happen. I bet you if I name drop someone who you listened to many years ago, even if they only had a one hit wonder, you know exactly the artist that I am referring to or at least the song. People don't tend to forget that. I think what people tend to forget is they forget to check back. You might remember the artist for the rest of your life, but will you remember to check their social media occasionally to see what they're up to? So just make sure you do that and keep up with all the stuff so you can be aware of when the members come back. I can imagine how emotional everyone is. I am very emotional as well. And I get a lot of messages from people saying that they are actually very upset and haven't come to terms with the BTS members leaving and asking how everyone is able to be okay. Most of us are not, but life goes on and this is something unavoidable. I am very sad over this. It has become a routine to check in on what BTS is doing daily and compile stories. The boys have been a place of escapism for me. However, to make everyone feel better, it is not as gloomy and doom as I think everyone is making it out to be. We have at least a couple of months before all the members fully go, and within that time, we are going to have a lot of BTS solo member content. And then when the boys go, there will be pre-recorded stuff that will come out. It seems like there may be some sort of cartoon that will come out. It seems like there will possibly be some pre-recorded music and the members may opt to do what Jin did and pre-record a lot of messages for ARMY. That alongside the media getting pictures of the boys at the camp, I really don't think we will see less of the boys. And then Jin and J-Hope are going now. By the time the last member enlists, it would only be a few more months before Jin comes back and then he would be able to make some music or something. And the truth of the matter is most of us don't know the boys personally or see them every day other than through a screen. So what exactly will be so different? It probably won't feel that different. J-Hope continued on his stream to talk about the enlistment and actually said that he is looking forward to it. What was believed to be translated from what J-Hope said was really interesting. I'll read the alleged quote. He said, I saw the menu that came out lately. The food is really good. I'm kind of excited that I'm going to have a normal life pattern and live each day in a normal way, which is different from my usual lifestyle. I'll be healthier in a different way. This is absolutely true and for this reason, there is no concern here. J-Hope seems to be saying that he will be happier. J-Hope will finally get a bit of time where he can feel a bit normal and do normal things. He can eat a lot more and not have to worry about his weight. This is something that a lot of idols have to constantly worry about and calorie count, so it's probably refreshing to not have to do that. And even if he gets bigger, he will be more muscular and healthy too. He also made sure to allegedly say that he will be healthier in a different way to imply that he is not unhealthy right now. So I'm glad he made that clear. Also keep in mind, this is a translation. So there could be errors and stuff in there. So take it with a grain of salt. Of course, as J-Hope is preparing to go, the other members are doing their own thing and trying to work on their own projects. Jungkook was recently speculated to be working with Justin Bieber's management and believed to be possibly making a song with Justin Bieber. Jungkook has talked about wanting this to happen for a while and Justin Bieber doesn't need the clout or money. And so obviously he doesn't just hop on any collaboration. And to be honest, a collab with Justin and all seven BTS members probably just didn't make sense for him. So if this collab with Justin and Jungkook is happening, probably makes the most sense now as 1v1, which is why it could happen now. All these photos and rumors start to circulate since multiple people from Jungkook's team and Justin's team were spotted together in the studio and multiple insider people posted about these things. If you aren't aware, Justin Bieber worked with an up and coming singer at the time named Kid Leroy. Almost anything that Bieber touches or features in really kicks off and does super well. The song really blew up and was everywhere. Jungkook even sang the song a couple of times during a live stream, I believe. And if you left
left the house during the summer that it was a hit. You heard it everywhere. Kid Leroy was believed to be confirmed to be in line to perform at Coachella among many artists. Now flash forward a bit, we saw Jungkook making a trip over to the US in his full Calvin Klein outfit. People were wondering why Jungkook was in his CK outfit and if he was going over to the US to do some brand ambassador sort of thing. Perhaps be in an event or shoot for a new campaign. All of this is possible but it was interesting because his schedule was made very public and a lot of people showed up at the airport. It was now believed that Jungkook actually did not solely travel to the US to promote Calvin Klein but likely went over to either work with Justin Bieber or attend Coachella. Given that Jungkook seemingly wanted to attend Coachella privately, I will talk more about that. He likely was there just for the collab. Many Coachella people were surprised when they noticed that Jungkook was at the event. It started with a couple of people snapping pics of Jungkook spotted in the crowd and obviously this is not hard. Armies are everywhere so there's bound to be people within arm's length from Jungkook at Coachella that recognized him and recorded him. And then once the news hit the internet, armies began going through all the artists' performances. So when the camera would show the crowd, armies would slow down the footage to try to see what Jungkook was doing. So during a moment where we see Kid Leroy's performance, armies noticed that Jungkook was there watching. Many people eventually, after the show, went up to Jungkook and asked for a photo or said hi. People got upset because they also noticed that Jungkook was showing love to Blackpink. Blackpink obviously had their performance there as well as Jungkook was watching and people were saying that Jungkook was gawking over Blackpink being like my love. This makes no sense to me. First off, of course Jungkook would love Blackpink. They're in the same label. Tang and Lisa are literally friends so they're all friends and I'm sure Jungkook and BTS members literally showed support to every group they come in contact with because they know how hard the industry is. And others claim that Jungkook bought a ticket just to see Blackpink because he can't hide his love. He probably bought a ticket just to enjoy music. You can definitely go to Coachella just to see one act. However, a lot of Coachella goers go because of their love of either techno music or their love of drugs and partying. So a lot of people don't go for a specific artist. I'm not saying Jungkook went to do drugs or party, but he likely went because he wanted to be inspired by the music. If the new album sounds any bit Western, which I feel it would, and it would be smart to do so given the release of Dreamers and trying to build off of that, then going to a Western festival is going to draw more inspiration for this type of music. And also, even if he didn't like Blackpink, what would he do when they perform? Turn around? Close his eyes? Can you imagine? I don't understand what people expect. People were saying that these photos should not be taken and we should respect Jungkook's privacy because this is a personal schedule. That I don't agree with. I agree that we shouldn't take random photos of people, but I don't think this was a private schedule. I think his appearance and the fact that his name is next to Kid Leroy is supposed to be a hint or a way to build hype with the album. If you know anything about PR appearances and even things like this could be a way to build attention to an album. This is just my conspiracy theory. The reason this would even be considered good PR is because we don't know if it's planned or not. It seems very organic. But I think when Jungkook does make an appearance, the bad part is that speculation tends to run wild and people make the most wild claims. Others were saying that at this moment we see Jungkook and Taehyung together and this was a date of theirs. This makes zero sense to me as we have seen so many videos and clips of Jungkook in that crowd and there are no like zero people next to Jungkook that are recognizable. There might be some security bodyguards or whatever but no celebrity is next to Jungkook. So people are just saying things at this point to just say things. People think rumors like this are things that hurt Jungkook or would be like hitting Jungkook but I don't think he cares that much. He goes on Weavers to thank armies for recognizing him and I know what I'm about to say is controversial but I think if it was a big issue he would have said something. He absolutely has not been shy about talking about stalkers and the whole gym situation and someone following him. So if it was another account of this, then I don't see why he would not vocalize it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the comment right here. Love you. Bye.